we talked about what the difference between a minor arc, a major arc, and a semicircle is. So remember, a semicircle is equal to half the circle or 180 degrees. Minor arc is less than half. Um, so anything less than 180 degrees. And a major arc is anything bigger than half, so bigger than 180 degrees. All the way around the circle is 360. We talked about what a central angle is, which is an angle formed by the center and then the two radii. So in this first example, it says use the circle below and then what appear to be the minor arcs of circle L. So circle L has, remember, minor just have to be less than half. I can say that this one here is a minor arc, which would be arc HI. I can say this one here appears to be a minor arc, which is mar arc IJ. I can say this appears to be a minor arc, which would be arc JK. And I can say this appears to be a minor arc, which would be arc KH or HK. You can put those in any order. Okay. So those all appear to be a uh, minor arc. If I join any of them together, like if I said this one to this one, that appears to be a semicircle. So that's one of the options for B, which is a semicircle. I, J, K. And I have to use all three letters so that I know what I'm talking about. What else appears to be a semicircle? So if I start at I and I go to K, that's a semicircle. If I start at J and go to H, it's a semicircle. So J, K, H. If I start at K and go around to I, that's a semicircle. And if I start at H and I go around to J, that's a semicircle. So when I'm naming and I'm looking for these, I tend to just try to go like clockwise or counterclockwise so that I make sure I get every arc. Start with each letter, see if you can make an arc that they're asking for. Okay, then the last one says, what appear to be the major arcs of L that contain point K? So let's pick K to start. If I were to start K, and I go around to H, that's minor. I go around to I, that's semicircle. I have to go all the way around to J. So K, H, J, or K, I, J, those are the same things. Those would be, that would be an example of a major arc. I could go the other direction, start with K, and go around this way. And it would be K, J, H. That's also a major arc. And it didn't say start. It had a start or stop with K, so it could just contain K. I could go from, go a different color, J to K to I. That's a major arc. I could say I to K to H, that's a major arc. And then if I start at H, I can go H to K to I. And that's also a major arc. So most likely if I'm gonna test you, I'm not gonna make you list all of them, maybe just give me one example of these because it's, it's hard to list all of them, but as long as you can identify at least one of each different type, you're good. Um, in the next example, you'll see if I, you can give me the measurement and then tell me what type it is, that's also good. I haven't made your test, I probably won't for like until next week. I'll try to figure out where to go from there. Um, you, again, might have one more test and one more quiz and then you'd have all three of both. Okay, so now let's go to the example or uh, next slide. This is now talking about the measurements of arcs. Remember that the measure of an arc matches the measure of the central angle. So if it asks me to find the measures of the following arcs, classify the arc as major, minor, or semicircle. Remember major, bigger than 180, minor, less than 180, um, semicircle equals 180. So if I wanna find the measure of x, y, that's an arc that's formed by this angle, and this angle is 87 degrees, which means that this is also 87 degrees. Then it says X, or sorry, W, X, Y, and I want to go in that order. So W is here, X is here, Y is here, and that is half your circle. 
So this would be 180 degrees. Oh, I didn't classify it. This would be minor because it's less than 180. This would be a semicircle because it equals 180. Arc WX is here. So if this entire arc here is 180 degrees and this is 87, then to get this angle here, I would do 180 minus 87 and I get 93 degrees, which is a minor arc. Ethan, you can turn your camera off. I don't need to like watch you chow down. Thanks, sir. All right. Then comes arc Y, Z, X. So Y is here. If I go Y, then Z, then X, it goes all the way around my circle, which includes everything except for X, Y. So if my circle is 360, X, Y is 87, then I just have to do 360 minus 87 degrees to get that individual, well not that individual arc, but the big major arc. So this is everything except for that 87, which is 273. And again, that would be bigger than 180, so that's major. Gabby, can I see your face, please? Thank you. It'd be bigger than 180, which makes it major. Yep. Right, 270 is bigger than 180. Okay, questions on any of these? All right, if you'll open up your homework, that was due this morning, I'll go over those answers. So numbers 9, 10, and 11 wanted you to name all those, the minor arcs, the major arcs, the semicircles. This is just like the warm-up question number one. Remember the order of the letters is not important. So if I say BF, it's the same thing as saying FB. So the minor arcs are BF, FE, ED, DC, and CB. Again, if I was to test you on this, I would say give me and my, like one minor arc. So you don't only have to give me one. You don't have to give me all of them. Number 10 is the major arc. So these are ones that are bigger than 180. So if I started at B and I went up, I would go up and around. BFD is bigger than 180, so that's a major arc. BFC would be bigger than 180, so that's also a major arc. And then I went to F. FEB is a major arc. And then I went to E, E, D, F, or E, C, F, that's a name too, or E, B, F, those are all the same arcs. That's a major arc. Then I went to D, D, around to E is a major arc. D, around to F is a major arc. Then I went to C. C around to E is a major arc, and C around to D is a major arc. And then your semicircles were all the half circles. So because this could be a diameter, then this would be one semicircle, this would be one semicircle. This could also be a diameter, so then this is one semicircle, and this is one semicircle. So there's actually different options there. And you can name them differently, so just be really careful. Again, as long as you can give me one of these options, you're good. Any questions on those? Okay, then came the measures. So number 12 is 128. Number 13, 180. Number 16, 52. Number 17, 308. Number 18, 180. Number 22, 142, and number 23, 270. 
questions on any of those? All right, so again, your next test will start with this section 10, uh, what are we on, 10-6. Uh, we'll do 10-6, 10-7, and then we'll probably get into uh, surface areas and volumes, and that will be like the last round of assessment. So we're, get, we're getting close to the end, which is the good thing. You will have one more quiz, one more test, so that you can get all three of each. Uh, and remember, we meet till the 29th of May. That's our last day of Zooming, okay? But your last testing week is May 18th. So the week of May 18th, you'll have one more test. All right, you guys, you can head on out. Have a great weekend. Sabrina, your birthday's Monday, right? It's Cinque. Yeah. Huh? Oh, tomorrow? Why do I have the fourth down? Oh, I have on my that Google sheet that you filled out. It says the fourth. All right, well, just check your mailbox because it will be late, but there will be something there. Okay, all right. Have a good birthday. <laughs>